Uh, one experience was on Tinian. Most of our, our where we were stay living, they, the quarters were pretty good. But this one, we were way up a, a path to a Quonset up, which was a tree, because we were all together. Usually we were separated, and it wasn't that convenient to all be together. But anyway, it was pouring down rain, and we were all in, we girls, were all in the, with our cots. And then there was a screen all around the floor. And so after it finally quit, it was raining in on our cots and on everything. And so I had just gotten into my cot and was looking up the screen and I'm going to say this nicely because of my one son. This Japanese man was sitting there staring in at me and I started screaming, the girls started screaming and we ran trying to get the guard who was down the path and he couldn't hear us because it was pouring so bad and the wind was blowing so after about 25 minutes he finally heard us and came and then Eddie came and then the others that were in the show came also, Eddie, and I had later talked to Eddie about that, and he said, you know, you don't remember, I was, I didn't even have PGs on, I just, we were running and worried about what was going on with you girls, so that was quite an experience. And another one that was momentous was when we were on Tinny and Danola Gay was there at the same time. So we, we were told later, but at the time it was there, getting ready to take off. And so we were on Saipan when the bomb was dropped. So that was a, just a tremendous experience too. We were all crying and, and then Peggy, Peggy and I went to one of the hospitals to talk to some of the boys. So that was touching too.